Hey guys, John here. I just got the latest version 11.4.6 in my car today about four or five hours ago. I'm gonna go ahead and put it to the test here. Okay, so I've picked out four destinations. I've never taken it to any one of these before. First time, let's see how well it performs. I'm gonna double tap down and beta will be enabled. Great, go ahead and make this full screen. Coming out here, so there's some traffic on the left and it's uh, almost g going for it. Oops, I'm gonna have to wait because this truck, now the truck's honking at me. So I don't know why it didn't see them. That is not good. Let me report that. Unsafe, unprotected left. Almost got hit by a truck. I think that's brutally honest uh, statement right there. So, uh, you know, not off to a good start, guys. We'll go ahead and enable it here again. Okay, it almost turned in front of that vehicle there. It was, it needed to change lanes. And wow, it needs to get all the way over to Salem. I don't know if it's gonna be able to do this. So there's another car here. I was about to pull directly into that car and create another collision. Unsafe lane change behavior, almost hit another car. All right, beta's back on again. Oof, off the main roads. So, wow, two uh, very uncomfortable situations back there. I was thinking about this. So as a beta tester, you put yourself through a lot of pain and torture in the, in the early stages when these releases come out. Now, I, I, I don't remember the previous version acting that uh, unsafe. I was a little bit taken aback by that. I, 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 I haven't had it perform that poorly in a very long time. All right, so there's a school bus over there. They're in a parking lot. We are at a four-way stop. Let's see how well it handles this here. Okay, so it is our turn. I would say, okay, that car is going. Now we should definitely be going right now. I would be creeping. Okay, going. That wasn't bad. Sometimes it can be really awkward at four-way stops and you have to nudge it forward, but it did pretty decent there. Turn signal went on nice and early there. This is not a stop. We could have easily have gone there. Okay, so this is, again, not going to be too eventful just because we are really off the beaten track. What's going to get interesting here is once we get back onto the main roads. Here we have a pedestrian coming. Let's see if it stops for them. Oh, so my car is starting to go. So she's she saw the camera, and I think she's wondering, you know, what's going on. My car should have stopped and waited. That was an awkward... Awkward pedestrian encounter. Car started to go when pedestrian was entering crosswalk. Oh, I hope that the beta team gets that message. Okay, cyclist on the other side of the road, and then we're going to go forward here. I think where we're going to take this is over to Home Depot to close this out with a really interesting unprotected left turn test. Okay, here we are. So this is one of the most uncomfortable, unprotected left turns that I can possibly do. It makes me anxious every single time I try this. I'm gonna turn it on. The car is gonna go forward and it's gonna turn left. We're gonna see with this version, 11.4.6, if it gets all the way over to the left. In previous versions, it would go right into the middle and looks like it's kind of doing that again. So this is not good behavior. It's trying to go around this car and they're trying to go left as well. Did it just change his mind? The, I, the right turn signal was on there briefly, so it's trying to go around that car. That's not the right thing to do. If somebody came up behind us, we'd be blocking them. It is clear on the left, on the right. Okay, that car is coming. Nicely done. It made a decision, executed, and came out. This is a very challenging area, and it nailed it. Very, very good. So half of that was luck, to be completely honest with you. There are a number of situations, just like in the very beginning of this video, where it pulls out prematurely and then ends up 
blocking traffic. So not good. You get honked at quite a bit in those situations and it's very annoying. And it's like, excuse me. And you know, you can't explain, you can't like roll down your window and say, I'm testing. And that's the problem. You know, we need like a big light, a hazard light or something for these cars because otherwise they're going to become a nuisance and more and more people start using it because it does make a lot of mistakes. And I, we have to be uh, very transparent and upfront about that. It's not a finished software right now. So there, there are going to be hiccups along the way. It's not polished by any means and it's certainly uh, still a work in progress. So here it's gonna take me just to this bank up here. I've not seen the screen glitch. I haven't been watching the screen too closely, but from here I'm gonna take over, say goodbye to everybody. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this was useful as far as being informative. And uh, you know, as, as far as other situations go, like if you wanna see me test a particular thing that's mentioned in the release notes, I'll do my very best to replicate that type of scenario. So as you could see, overall impressions, 11.4.6 had several mistakes. It had several issues for me on this residential drive that I just took it through. I will be downtown Chicago, like I said earlier, on Friday. Be filming, most likely dropping a, a video with a much more challenging environment on Saturday or Sunday this weekend. So if you're not subscribed, subscribe so you get a notification when that video drops. I'll make a notification on Twitter as well. So if you're not on Twitter, or you're not following me. My handle is John BBC, J O N B B C, and that's my Tech Geek Tesla content continuously. I have another video coming up with the 12 volt battery re replacement. I just had to do that yesterday, so I filmed a video kind of going through the step by step. Hope you guys are having a great one. I'll see you in the next video.